So the Supreme Court has dismissed the challenge of Jim O'Doherty and John Waters to the constitutionality, the challenge to the constitutionality of the COVID-19 laws that were introduced by the Irish state. The, in a majority ruling of six to one, the court upheld the decision of the High Court and the Court of Appeal not to allow them to bring their challenge to the legislation in response introduced in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The court, the High Court rather, had previously refused to grant Waters and O'Doherty permission to bring their judicial review proceedings on the basis that it was, quote, entirely without merit and misconceived. Chief Justice Donal O'Donnell said the High Court was correct not to grant permission for the action and five of the other Supreme Court judges agreed with this ruling. Mr Justice Gerald Hogan didn't agree. He dissented and said he would have allowed the appeal on certain grounds. So O'Doherty and Waters have sought to have some of the legislation declared unconstitutional and flawed. This was the legislation and regulations introduced by the Irish state to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. Their action obviously had been opposed by the state. They represented themselves in court. They represented themselves in the High Court, the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court. To my uh, knowledge, I think they have lost uh, all of the uh, costs actions as well in those hearings. So in the High Court and the Court of Appeal, I think they've had costs awards against them on each occasion. I'm not sure or I don't know whether the Supreme Court has yet made any ruling as to costs in this particular case. Today is the 5th of July 2022 and the decision was only issued there this morning at some point. Uh, I'm reading it or uh, having a look at the RTE website which has reported it and uh, obviously it's an interesting case insofar as these people have uh, contended for uh, their arguments in the High Court, the Court of Appeal and now the Supreme Court and have lost on each occasion. Obviously it's open to them, uh, presumably at some stage perhaps, to go to Europe and I think they have uh, indicated that that's what they would do if they lost the Supreme Court challenge. But the Supreme Court have basically found against them on a vote of six to one uh, against uh, and basically holding that the High Court was absolutely correct in finding that their uh, challenge was misconceived and entirely without merit.